So today we're doing our first rebuild of MLB The Show 22, and it's going to be with my favorite team, the Chicago Cubs. They're, it just, it just felt like the right team to do. It's my favorite team. And also they're in this weird like rebuild retool phase anyways. So let's do it for the first video. So if you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoyed the content. And of course, in the comment section, let me know what team you want to see in the next rebuild. With that being said, let's get into it. Um, I'm using the live roster. You got to go to the, the settings, file management, and then under load, it'll pop up with rosters. Click rosters, click live roster, and then save that. And then you can use that for franchise. So I'm using the live roster. There's a couple players missing. There's a couple prospects missing. So I guess players, prospects, same thing. Um, on top of that, potentials have been toned down a lot this year. So a lot of prospects have been taken down a notch. Um, more like two, three notches. And Seiya Suzuki is missing. That's a big name for the Cubs. I've added him to this roster. And I want to just get this out of the way. I've started to tweak potentials, overalls, and changing a couple things. So my roster is going to be a little bit different than the live roster. So if you notice any changes that's why so there you are um yeah i think that kind of covers everything get that out of the way if this is the first video you've seen on my channel uh your the first rebuild no this is a fantasy rebuild like this is just all for fun we're changing things up we're trying to build a team as quickly as possible make them really good as quickly as possible and also just kind of develop some prospects change things up make some trades that don't make sense uh, make some trades that logically don't make sense like i'm probably gonna fleece the cpu a couple times um it's fantasy i do also make realistic rebuilds and i differentiate between the two because it'll say realistic rebuild in the title but for these ones these are fantasy we're just here to have fun draft players make some trades make some signings and just kind of change up the team and just make it a fantasy rebuild so yes i may piss you off making a trade yes i may piss you off by trading away your favorite player just know it's just a fantasy rebuild just to have some fun so now that we're getting started, let me get this roster down to 26 guys for the MLB squad. We'll break down the Cubs roster a little bit, my kind of plans for it moving forward. And then we'll actually just go straight into the draft. I'm not going to make any trades at the first portion of the season. Maybe at the deadline we will though. So looking at this team, Marcus Stroman, obviously the big pitching free agent acquisition this offseason. Hendricks, Wade Miley claimed from the Reds. Alzali, Mills, and Steele. You've got Brault, who they signed, which is like, meh. Um, Killian, who they acquired in the Chris Bryant trade, looked solid in double A. He is a little bit older for double A, 24 years old. So we'll have to see how he develops for the next couple seasons. But he looked good, so we'll have to wait and see. Jordan Wicks was last year's first round pick. And then a couple other guys who they acquired in some trades. The bullpen's kind of my big question mark with this team. Like, they signed a couple players that like have some MLB experience, but like also have been kind of iffy over the past couple seasons. Monkey. I really just don't know what to expect with the Cubs bullpen. It's a big question mark. Um, Cody Hoyer, which was like the one guy that I like felt comfortable with the most, just went down with Tommy John surgery. So yikes. Wilson, my favorite player on the Cubs, probably going to get traded. Sucks, but that's probably just, that's that's just the way it is. Um, Jan Gomes, I think is a good solid backup catcher to have. And then Amaya, who supposed to be the future catcher for the cubs i don't know realistically i'm not that high on him but could prove me wrong first base frank the tank obviously really solid last year it was small sample size but he looks like the dude knows how to hit i don't know if he can do it for a full year but we'll have to wait and see what he does rice ball was acquired in the jock peterson trade and then rivas looks like just a, a, a slappy first baseman um decent with the glove as well so I don't think he's ever gonna like be unbelievable at first base but as a guy who can come off the bench help you out every game here and there i think he'll be okay uh second base madrigal we'll have to wait and see obviously he was injured last year but let's let's see how he does this season bodie i i think the cubs need to move on from bodie injuries inconsistencies the guy hits the ball hard the issue is like just doesn't hit it enough so i'm not really sold on bodie anymore james triantos though 19 years old was drafted last year i think this guy's gonna be good we'll have to wait and see how he progresses over the next couple seasons but this guy he looks like the real deal um patrick wisdom third base good with the glove obviously has the power just strikes out a lot uh vr i think is a good platoon guy to bring in helps you out in multiple different positions switch hitter as well i like it i like it i don't hate that move at all shortstop horner Injuries, big concern. Uh, if the guy's healthy, I think he can be a solid piece for us. It's just 
he can't stay healthy. Angels and Simmons, good backup, really good with the glove as well. And then Ed Howard, Preciado, and Made, all for the future, all for the future. They, Ed Howard struggled a lot last year. It'll be interesting to see how he does this year in the next couple seasons. Ian Happ, I mean, ups and downs. I, I think Ian Happ's a good guy to have on the team. I just don't know if he's really the future for the Cubs. Um, you know, Clint Frazier has looked really healthy this spring. It'll be interesting to see how he does as well. And then center field, Ortega, again, was good last year. Can you do it again? Brennan Davis, I think, is going to be a fantastic outfielder for us. PCA, I want to see how he is with the full season um, in the minors. Obviously, was injured last year. Christian Franklin was a round three pickup for the Cubs, I believe, last season. So we'll see how he does. Alcantara and then Canario as well. And then in right field, the big acquisition, Seo Suzuki. Whew. I'm excited. I'm excited. I fully expect him to have a little bit of a learning curve in the majors, but I'm excited to see what he can do. Jason Hayward, please just leave. I, the Cubs got a DFA him. It's time. It just didn't work out. He's a great guy. Great, great guy. It's just, it's, it's time to move on from Hayward. Velasquez had a really good fall league last year, so I'm excited to see how he is in the minors. And then Hermosillo, I think, deserves a shot in the majors. And then we have Diekman and Casey. So there it is. That is the Cubs team real life i fully expect them to kind of be middle of the road you know may, may maybe kind of be in the hunt for the wild card i don't fully expect them to be pushing for a wild card i'm thinking maybe like six seven games out of the wild card but you know we'll see we'll see um so yeah i i fully expect like a middle of the road season for the cubs i don't expect them to be like pirates level but they'll, they'll be they'll they'll be bad that's kind of what it is so like I said, I'm going to get to the draft. We're going to go through it there. And yeah, that's it. I don't want to make any trades right now. I want to leave it as is. I guess I should talk about the huge feature that was added to MLB The Show. Or I guess not a new feature, but the logic improvements that were made. Free agency signings, trades, um, call-ups, send-downs, 40-man, all that stuff. That was supposed to be improved this year. So we'll have to wait and see about the trades. I've seen some bad trades in some of the Sims that I've done just to kind of test out the roster and everything. Um, I've seen some really bad trades. Uh, I haven't gotten to free agency yet, but some of the trades are a little eh. I tweeted out a couple if you want to check them out. Um, but yeah, big improvements supposed to be happening to the logic. We'll have to wait and see how that plays out throughout the year. And then also Shohei is fixed. So Shohei is supposed to be able to be used as a DH and a pitcher. And he's actually supposed to not suck. We'll see. We'll see. All right, draft time. We have the seventh pick, which is a good pick um, because the Cubs were bad. Let's see what happens. Um, any good? Wow, he he looks pretty good. Pretty solid. Okay. He looks solid, too. That was a closing pitcher, though, so it's kind of tough to judge him. Um, closing pitchers are always a lot better. All right. Huh. I don't think I scouted. Uh, or turn the CPU on to scout. So that's a big issue on my part. Willie Compost, though, I'm all in. That's all I needed. I may have messed up this first rebuild by not getting a good pick, but that that's all I need. I got I got Willie Compost. That's my guy. I, I'm going to guess for the rest of the draft. I don't care. Willie Compost is my guy. So yeah, for my rebuilds, I typically let the CPU scout. Um, there are some videos well, where I will actually um, scout or the draft like my franchise series and uh, i will also make a scouting tips for you guys just to help you out with your rebuilds um here i forgot to turn scouting on auto i usually just have it on auto just because it, it can be time consuming and especially since we're doing five-year rebuilds it, it it will definitely slow me down during recording so let me let me see what we can find here um as as i'm definitely guessing through everybody i kind of liked the look of what was it this guy i'll take a shot on daryl hall why not i mean we already know that first pick definitely the one that that's all you need if you can get one or two good picks out of the entire draft it's a win it's a win automatically so there you are that that's all you need to know i am going to take maybe kevin de young yeah let's go kevin de young and then you know what i'm gonna let the cpu do the last two picks i have faith in the cpu i have faith in my yeah, I have faith. Let's see how we did. Willie Campos, 73 overall. Good power, decent contact, okay vision and discipline, a good arm, good blocking. You know what it looks like? This looks like Wilson Contreras. 
this is exactly Wilson Contreras. I'm all in. 91 potential as well. I love it. That is... Whew. Rene Mendoza, 61 overall with 87 potential. Look at that. A blind pick. Perfect. Look at... Oh, 85 potential for Daryl Hall with the 70 power and the 71 power. Look at this draft. Look at this draft. Even Kevin DeYoung, a 73 potential. I'm loving it. 77 potential for Dan Lin, who's 40 overall, so not ideal. And then 73 potential for Napoleon Harvey. Who actually, he's got some decent hitting stats and some really good speed. I like this draft. This this is this is an A A plus draft right here. Outstanding. So Tim Anderson is our first big trade that we see for Matthew Barefoot and Jeremy Pena. I'm actually gonna see what Barefoot is because. Pena is the top prospect in the Astros organization. I like froze for a second there. What is barefoot? B potential, 24 years old, 70 overall. Okay, you know what? I don't hate that trade. A potential, 68 overall. I, I don't hate that trade for Tim Anderson. I, I that, You know what? I feel like that that's not a terrible trade right there. Not a terrible trade at all. Bichette goes to the Brewers for Wong, Adamas, and Frelick. Wow, that's a big move. And honestly, I feel like maybe the Brewers paid a little bit too much. Adamus and Bichette, I feel like Adamus is a little bit lower on the, the rankings for shortstop. But then you're giving up one of your top prospects. And then you're also giving up a, a very solid second baseman. Maybe because Bichette's struggling? I, I don't know. That's I don't I honestly Bichette's struggling, so I feel like you wouldn't have to pay as much. I don't know. That's a big trade. Whit Merrifield got traded for Moncada and Harrison. Whoa. Okay. That's a big move. I feel like the White Sox definitely overpaid. Yikes. Wow. That's. Whew. That's a. Like. Ah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Gallegos for Marcelo Meyer. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. Jacob Stallings for Jackson Job and Daz Cameron. I could see Stallings for maybe Cameron, maybe, but Jackson Job or Joby, whatever, whatever it is, really? All right, the Blue Jays. What do we got? What do we got? Danny Jansen and Samad Taylor, D potential 74 overall, as well as Danny Jansen for Wilson Contreras. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say no. I do want to see what other transactions have been completed. Austin Meadows for Will Bednar and Patrick Bailey. Okay. Edmund for Ryan Pepio. Pepiat. I know he's supposed to be one of the top like pitching prospects for the Dodgers. I some people are high on him. I don't know. Jacob Amaya and Justin Ruil. Tyler Wells for Goddard, Patino, and Buskowskis. Bukowskis. Interesting move there. What other ones? Colton Kowser for Abrams. Oh, just flipping prospects. All right. Brian De La Cruz for Groshans and Jeter Downs. I don't know what De La Cruz has potential-wise, so I can't really judge that one. Vines for Santander is an interesting trade. Eric Cooper for Taylor Walls. Boxberger for Schuster. Interesting. Suter for Kobe Mayo. Hmm. Kyle Gibson for Justin Turner. We saw the Bichette trade. We saw the Anderson trade. Gavin Sheets for Justin Dean's an interesting one. Eflin for Lonnie White. Eliezer Hernandez for Sam Williams and Adrian Morihon. I don't know about that one. Morihon, really? Fam for Palencia. Oh, no, wait. Yeah. Oh, wait. Placencia. Solak for Contreras. Ef Efrain Contreras. And Mundo Sosa for Hauser. Chadwick Trump for Tim LaCastro. Yastrzemski for Jaime Barrera. Maria, holy cow, I'm struggling with words today. Bednar from the Giants. No, from the Pirates to... Oh, whoa, whoa. So the the Giants traded away David Bednar's brother and then acquired David Bednar for Joey Bart. Okay. Uh, Lucas Lutke or Lutke for Rex Brothers and Aaron Ashby. Okay, okay. Davey Garcia for Chase McCormick's an interesting one. Brandon Marsh for Steckenrider? Ooh, okay. And I think that might be it. I think that might be it. Yeah. Okay, some interesting trades. Some that I don't like. Some that I'm okay with. I, uh, I, 
I do see that some of the traits have definitely improved, but some of them are still a little bit of a, a head scratcher for sure. So it'll be interesting. Somehow we're killing it. Um, yeah. Huh. Interesting. Um, I don't. I, okay. Let's let's take a look at overall at the team and see how how things are going. So Strowman, fantastic. Hendricks, yeah. Wade Miley's like meh. You know what? I don't hate that. Justin Steele, unbelievable. Okay. Bullpen? What is this bullpen? What? Are you serious? And then you've got offensively, you've got Madrigal, who's looks like the what? On base machine? Not really. Good average, but on base is pretty low. Seiya Suzuki's killing it. Schwindel's killing it. Wisdom, yeah, okay. Cap? Eh, eh. Uh, Contreras' potential went down. He's actually having an okay season. Um, Clint Frazier is meh. Hermosillo's meh. Uh, Horner's okay. Honestly, the pitching has to be carrying the team. Oh, yeah, the pitching's 100% carrying the team. All right, so I'm looking at the team. I would like to bring in a starter and also a lefty bat. So let's take a look at the trade block. This was also supposed to be improved. Interesting. Odorizzi makes a little sense. Loi Siga. Are the, are the Yankees just bad? Is that what's going on? No, they're in first. So why is... Why are quite a few... Like, why why are those players on the block? Tapia makes sense. Dylan Cease is an interesting one. There's Paddock. Like Boyd's like, okay, I kind of understand that. What about, like, the top prospects that normally show up? Like a Jackson Merrill. A... Who else? Who else? Any other top prospects? Uh, like Keone Cavaco is kind of well known. Diego Cartaya, Mark Vientos. Okay, interesting. So it's, it, it seems improved. It definitely isn't as juiced as it normally is. Like no Brian Reynolds, even though he's on the kind of the trade block right now. But you know, you know what I mean. You're not seeing like Juan Soto or anything up here. So that, that's good to see. I do want a lefty bat. Um, I don't really see a lot of lefty bats. I do see some pitchers though. Um. I would like to bring in someone that's like about to expire. That makes a little bit more sense. But who? Um, doesn't really look like there's. Is Waka good? Like, am I about to trade for Michael Waka? Is that is that what is that what I'm about to do? Uh, I don't I don't think so. What about Odorizzi? I don't want him for another year. So what I'm gonna see if I can find is just a pitcher. I'm gonna see what what we can get. What's out there? Also, a lefty bat. I'm just probably going to have to search for one of those, though. Probably an outfielder. All right, so I'm going to fleece the Orioles. I'm going to give them Wade Miley and David Bodie. David Bodie's potential actually went up. Um, and he's actually having a pretty good year in AAA. So maybe he's going to be good for the Orioles. But I don't want him on my team. I want John Means, franchise legend. Uh, he's actually having a good year. I looked at some other pitchers. And maybe I do get a different pitcher. I do get, I do get John Means a lot. So let's... Let's change it up. Who do I want? I kind of want Otani. How hard is this going to be to trade for Otani? I just want to see how hard it's going to be. It looks like it's going to be very difficult. Wow. Um. Let's 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 just let's just. Is it possible? It is. I got to give Vizcaino and Suzuki. So it seems like Suzuki is going to be the only piece that makes this possible. Maybe not. There, there might be someone in this team that makes this possible. I don't think so, actually. No, no, no. It, it's definitely not possible. So, Otani, pretty hard to trade for. What about Mike Trout? A lot more attainable. I don't want Mike Trout, though. So, I I, I want a pitcher. Um, let's see. Honestly, John Means makes a lot of sense. Uh, like, I, I, like it, it really does. John Means makes a lot, a lot, a lot of sense. He really does like that it kind of fits all the boxes here so you know what let's go john means um not for nico horner though we're gonna go wade miley and david bodie and that's the move that's the one move there i want a lefty bat like i mentioned so we're just gonna search for a lefty that is really good um we should probably make this contact versus lefties let's go like this like something like that and then contact versus righties let's do something like this Oh, okay. Hmm. I guess we could turn this one off and go like this. See what we got here that is attainable. That makes a little bit of sense for us. 
Then it's handy becomes a free agent, doesn't he? Kind of checks all the boxes that we need, too. That's... You... Mm? I kind of... Who's this? Ooh. Looks pretty good. Um, I'm not going to sign him, though. I'm going to leave him there. But that, that kind of checks all the boxes that I'm looking for. Ben, it's handy. It's not a flashy signing or trade. But, like, it, it kind of makes sense. And it gives some time for the prospects to develop. Do they want, like, Ortega? Sure. I, I'll let you have Ortega. I'll also give you a pitcher because I have a couple pitchers that I'm okay with letting go. Maybe, like, a Steven Brault and a Drew Smiley. And attendees in the team. There we are. All right, so we're just extending Contreras' contract for six years, about 16 mil each season. And then obviously Ben Attendee comes in and also John Means. There we go. This might be a pretty easy rebuild, actually. 92 and 70. Won the division. What? No chance. Not a chance. Eight games over the Brewers, the Cardinals, the Reds, and then obviously the Pirates are last. Mets won the East. What about the West? The Dodgers. Makes sense. Uh, the wild card was the Padres and the Braves. Yankees and the Blue Jays are making it out of the East. The White Sox in the Central. And then the West is the Astros and the Angels. Looks like the Mariners just missed out one game of a wild card spot. Okay. League leaders. Freddie Freeman along with Giancarlo. Your average leaders. Interesting. Okay. Freddie Freeman is going to be really good in franchise this year, huh? All right. Good to know. Doubles. Arosa Reina with 56. 45 for Freeman. Tatis with 15 triples. Woo! 18 for Miles Straw. Jeez, 18 triples. Teoscar with 43. Otani. Look at that pitching. Woo! Hitting. Unreal. Unreal stuff right there. And then RBIs goes to Bogarts and Tatis. Okay, so awards. What do we have? Delivery Man of the Year for Chris Martin. Gold Glove for Nico Horner and Suzuki, Rookie of the Year. That, that makes kind of sense. Tatis, MVP, along with Garrett Cole. So he obviously is going to win Cy Young. And then Bueller on the other side. Batting title, Freddie Freeman, along with Stanton. And then Diego Castillo and Chris Martin are your relievers of the year. Suzuki, Rookie of the Year, beating out O'Neill Cruz and ja uh, Jake Sawinski. And then Jared Kelnick winning it on the other side. I'm not going to lie. I don't like this whole, like, gradient fog moving around in the background it's super distracting and like it, it honestly doesn't look that good all right postseason time but first we got to take a look at our pitching staff see how we did so someone offensively got sent down and that's okay justin Steele, unreal Ooh, nerves of steel one would say uh we've got david robertson who was fantastic givens was really good daniel norris got called up for who did he get called up for am i missing somebody here Chavez. Chavez got sent down. He had a really good season, too. Holy cow. He was really good. I might call him back up. Uh, Cody Hoyer was fantastic. Uh, Rowan Wick was, was okay. Struggled a little bit. Uh, Yardley needs to be sent down for sure. And then Chris Martin was reliever of the year. Only blew two saves. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to call back up Chavez. And I'm going to send down Yardley. And then send down Norris, which means offensively, who do I need to call up? Who am I missing here? Hermosillo. So let's go back to the relievers and we'll send down Norris for now. We'll probably call him up next year or bring him back and we'll see how he does. But right now, I really like the bullpen. I really do. Strowman. Really good season. Like it. Kyle Hendricks. Same thing. Really solid year. John Means is a great pickup for us as well. Alzali definitely struggled. And eh. and then Mills was good, man. Holy cow. Great rotation. Wow. Offensively, Hayward. We got one more year with Hayward. I'm probably going to flip him next year. Simmons was meh. Uh, Jan Gomes was okay as a backup. VR was really good off the bench in his uh, 89 at-bats. Okay. And then Hermosillo struggled a little bit for sure. Definitely did. Offensively with the starting lineup, Madrigal, I'm probably going to drop him down to like the eight or the nine spot. Suzuki was rookie of the year. Really good numbers. Love to see it. Schwindel, mashed. Frank the Tank, got to love it. Patrick Wisdom, 33 home runs. I can't hate that. But like I said, he is going to strike out a lot. Ian Happ, on base percentage at 360. I mean, I can't complain about that at all. 
uh contreras even though the potential went down on base percentage looks okay average looks okay ops like that's not a bad season clint frazier is eh, eh. uh ben attendee not too bad honestly yeah I, not bad year not bad year i was kind of seeing what like frazier did more so than what ben attendee did corner with a little underwhelming and then back to magic gall so let's maybe go like we like ben attendee in the leadoff spot something like that and then who hits lefties well jan gomes but this guy needs to play the outfield so maybe like this and Madrigal hits lefties really well so maybe something like that and we'll leave it there for the postseason all right we're facing the mets this one's gonna be a tough matchup and what is going on all right um yeah so this rebuild was meant to be really really tough and uh it's proving not to be um okay game one versus the angels we win game two ver what's going what huh no chance season one are you kidding me nico horner mvp suzuki playoff mvp how this team are you serious no chance it can't can't be no not a no 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 what just happened what just happened um honestly the only thing that i've tweaked on the cubs roster i've boosted a couple prospects potentials and actually some player potentials on the MLB side, I toned him down a little bit. I think Contreras, I bumped up to an A, but he went back down to a B. And that's it. Um, Like, Bodie, I toned down. Hap, I toned down. Everybody else, I've left the same. Besides, like, some of the prospects where I boosted them up, like, maybe, like, five or six potential points. Outside of that, I haven't touched overalls at all. This is wild that we just won a World Series Season 1. Okay. Um... Yeah, so we got a couple players that retired, weren't using them. Pujols retired with 679 home runs. All right, this is where things get fun. I don't need tutorials. I'm pretty sure I turned off tutorials, but I guess they're back on. And it's handy. I honestly, I'm interested in bringing them back. I do want to see what other names become available, though. Um, Simmons, no. Givens. If I can get one more year out of him, that'd be awesome. Um, I'm going to give him the bullpen spot. We'll make it like 3.2 mil. VR... He's not going to improve so much more, so I'm going to hold off. And Daniel Norris. You know what? Let's do like a two-year club option. I'll bump it up to like 4.5. And Jesse Chavez, he's 39. He's going to decrease a lot next season. I'm going to let him walk. So there is that. And now, free agency time. Let me let me sort this 40-man out. Let me see who I want to call up, and we'll, we'll go from there. All right, so after going through the whole roster arbitrations and contracts, the big issue is our bullpen. Michael Givens hasn't resigned, and we're going to lose Chris Martin because of age. Uh, I'm not going to bring him back. Uh, just attributes going down. I just got to move on. Even though he was fantastic, um, I need a full bullpen. Uh, that's really what it comes down to. We do have G-Man and also Daniel Norris. So like we, we could turn to them for sure, but I, I think I want to at least bolster the bullpen a little bit. I'm looking at Willie Campos, uh, Willie Campos, and I'm going, oh, I just extended Wilson Contreras. He's not going to get taken out of the lineup. What if I make Campos a third baseman? He's got the cannon. He's got the power. He's got decent hitting stats. And I don't know about wisdom for the like the long-term future. Also, wisdom could just be there, and then Campos could like be a, a, a DH. Um, on top of that, there's not a lot of competition here at third right now. I feel like moving him out of the catching spot and putting him at third base big move and then what i could do is i could make him a catcher backup or i could just keep him at third base and we're good there i think i think that's the right move what does that move him to it takes him down a couple overall points I, i'm okay with that i really am i think i think that's the right spot for him um yeah everything else is good i'm gonna trade jason hayward for right now but um offensively i want a lefty bat um, I think Brendan Davis is going to be a late call up. I'm also thinking about making him a left fielder because it's going to be Suzuki and right. 
Center field's a question mark. I guess I could just let Brendan Davis play center field. Yeah, I think that's the move. Brendan Davis is getting the call up this year. Um, so now Brendan Davis in center, and I mean, what's what position is this? Second? No, this is DH. A lefty DH. That's what I'm looking for. A lefty DH. That's my offseason pickup. So, Givens is there. I don't need a starter. We're, we're good on the starter. We've sorted that position. Bullpen. Craig Kimbrell. Just got traded to the Dodgers. Crazy trade. Crazy trade. I think that works out for both teams, actually. I think it was a good trade for both teams. Who, though, could I pick up that would be worth it and help us out here? Mm, not a lot of good options. Ooh, that's not good. Not good at all. Closers. Again, not too many good options. Chapman, Britton. Oh, boy. Keith Thompson. Looks okay. I'll pick him up. He was, looks like he was hanging out in a... Uh, there's a lot of... Okay. I'm seeing these are... Like, okay. I see what these are. These are random generated players. All right. Um... I'm going to have to hope that more relievers pop available because, wow, there are none there. Lefty DH, Max Muncy. <laughs> That's definitely a possibility. We could bring in Rizzo, bring him back. Ah, I don't hate that. I don't hate that at all. Uh, Josh Bell, Brandon Bell, Jay Mancini. Who else could we turn to that is lefty? I, I want some pop. If I'm going to sign somebody, he's got he's to mash. Absolutely mash. Oh, oh, ho. I could also bring back Ben Attendi. I did say I was interested in that. I, I, I kind of like that idea. I don't necessarily want an outfielder, though. I kind of need it to be a little bit of an infielder. So Rizzo actually makes sense. Like a lot, a lot, a lot of sense. Um, Like Gallo could work as well. Because I'm going to get rid of Hayward. Brennan Davis is playing center field. Suzuki and right. Hap could DH then. So that actually does make a lot of sense. Brandon Nimmo. Ooh. I like Brandon Nimmo. Cattell Marte is actually long-term with the Diamondbacks now, so he wouldn't be a free agent. Brandon Nimmo. Lead-off guy. A lefty. Huh. Ooh, that actually... App, Brandon Davis, Seiya Suzuki, DH would be App. Ooh, do I get Rizzo or do I get ha uh, Nimmo or Gallo? I feel like I need I need a little bit more contact in the lineup. I definitely need some more uh, contact. So I don't think, uh, even though Gallo actually had a really good season, I don't know if he's the guy moving forward. Brandon Nimmo makes a lot of sense. Uh, contact guy looks unbelievable once again. But you know what? Let's, let's have a little nostalgia. Let's see who becomes a free agent next year as well. Um, we're going to do a, a one-year deal for Rizzo. And uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna bring him back to Wrigley Field, Anthony Rizzo. Um, yeah, Nimmo makes sense. I just feel like I get Nimmo a lot in previous rebuilds. I want to avoid that. I want to change it up this year. Have a little fun with it. And let's bring back Rizzo. Let's bring back the captain. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can bring one of these guys in. Who who do I want here? Maybe Lugo. Oh wow, he got rocked. Trevor May, maybe, for like a, a season, one year, I'll give him five mil. One year. That's what I'm looking for here. And then I think I'm going to leave it there. I think that that's my, my off season. Let's do that. Let's see if we get everybody that we wanted. First big move, Max Muncy to the Rangers. Wow, the Rangers are putting together a squad. Wow. Okay. All right. Big moves indeed. Um, so I think we've signed... What, Michael Givens? We still do have two offers in Rizzo and Trevor May available. Trey Turner's available. We don't necessarily need him, though. And um, let's see. Free agency. Can I see if anybody's signed? That was big. Do uh, I think, yeah, Muncy was definitely the biggest Was definitely the biggest move. So let's keep moving through uh, offseason. Oh, wow. Okay. That's a big move, Miami. Okay, Turner to the... There you go, Angels. You finally get your shortstop. Trey Turner. That's a big move. Kershaw to the Tigers. Presley to the Braves. Okay. And now I want to see what available arms there are in the bullpen. Any new ones that could help us out? Strom, no. Suter, no. 
E. Not really. That's not good. Not good at all. Uh. Oh, that's not good. Uh, we're yikes. We're in some trouble. We are definitely in some trouble. So I think I'm gonna leave it there right now for off season and let's get into season two maybe make a trade or two i think that might be our best bet is to make a trade because i need bullpen as you can see there's there's nobody here um this is not good all right starting off season two with jason hayward going to Ronaldo lopez i or not going to Ronaldo lopez Ronaldo lopez is getting traded for jason hayward so they're flipping hayward to the south side Ronaldo lopez to the north side of chicago all right, season two, this is what we're looking like. Stroman, Hendricks, Means, Mills, Alzali, Steele, Wick, Givens, Daniel Norris, Ronaldo Lopez, Hoyer, and Trevor May signed a one-year deal with us. I don't know. Uh, I don't think we're going to do as good as last year, uh, or as well as last year. Rizzo and Brennan Davis. There we go. And then um, you guys can kind of see the bench is pretty bad, too. So, um, I don't know. Uh, where do we approve this team? I, I think we let things kind of play out for one more year i released a lot a lot of bad minor leaguers that we had so um then i had to go and sign a bunch of bad minor leaguers to fill out the roster so let's see how things go uh it might go really really well or it might go absolutely horrible uh it just really depends so i'm gonna leave it there see how season two goes out and i'll see you guys in a bit all right, let's take a look at our picks for this year's draft. Eric Guillen, I went with the pitcher. I thought I really need a pitcher to help us kind of build for the future. Looks really good. 84 potential. 79 potential for Robert Fisher, another catcher. He looks okay. He looks all right. 76 potential for Julian Sanchez. Not bad. Not bad. 85 for Freddie Robles. Ooh, I like that. And then 73 for Marlon Warren. Outside of that, Sherwood Gutierrez, not great. So I I'll take that. It's a pretty good draft. There it is, the Juan Soto trade that I've been waiting for. The final year of his contract, he gets traded for Jay Daly and Harper Huerta. I need to see that. Um, all right, okay, Nationals. What did they just get? Uh, C potential, 53 overall, 20 years old, okay. And what was the other one, Eric Daly? No way, come on. That, that was the trade, right? Like, that's that's what that's what I saw, right? Like, that was what the move was. I mean, Randy Bird, like that? No. Like, it. Uh, nobody that they would have gotten would have been good enough to make this trade possible. Yeah, like, good God. That is, man, I, th I thought this was fixed. Oh boy. Okay, so I double checked to see who it was. It was a reliever. His name was Jay Daly. Even better. Even better. So I'm at the deadline. Ian Happ and Clint Frazier are absolutely stinking it up this year. I'm going to go get a new first baseman in Nathaniel Lowe. He goes by Nathaniel now. Uh, so yeah, there it is. That's my first baseman going forward, which means I have a plethora of first baseman now. Um, Schwindel is tanking, unfortunately. Uh, that's disappointing to see. And then we'll uh, we'll just hold on to Rizzo for the rest of the year. I'm going to get rid of uh, Schwindel for right now. I'm going to see if I can get like a little... Ooh, what do I need here now? Let's see. Maybe a backup shortstop? Because like low pops in it. Ooh, not left field. It'll be first base. And then I, I could move Velasquez and keep him as a bench bat for now. He's going to... I mean... Oh, what do I do here? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, I guess we could. Yeah, let's 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 see what we got here. What do we have? Trade. Oh, oh, Cedric Mullins. You say Cedric Mullins is available. Anybody else in the outfield that piques my interest? Not really. So I'm kind of looking for another placeholder. Like I guess Ben Attendee would have been a possibility, but I knew I had all these prospects that I wanted to rock with. So. I guess I could use Velasquez and left and then just trade Schwindel for um pitching's doing perfectly fine to be honest but I guess we could rock with maybe like a, a backup shortstop just for the time being let's see what we can find backup shortstop backup shortstop Ooh, I don't know let's see here what can I find Ooh, this is 
Yikes. What a... What could we go? Whoa, the Phillies got Bogarts? When did that happen? Let's see. I'm trying to see if there's a good backup shortstop that's available. That we could pick up. I mean, there's a... Wow, Mariners got a bunch. Um, hmm. Maybe, like, Nico Goodrum, he's bad. Never mind. <laughs> that was gross. What about... Let's... Ah, there's just really nobody that, like, could be a decent backup shortstop. Yeah, uh... There's just nobody, nobody possible playing, like... Just nobody holds backup shortstops anymore. Maybe like a second baseman potentially out there. Let's see. Anything. Anything at all. We, there's got to be somebody that has like a, a backup something. Um, Let's go with. Wow, there's really not. Uh, maybe like Jimenez. Not even him. Uri Garcia. I don't want. Tony Kemp's an interesting one for the season. And who did I say? Schwindel? I mean, wow, that's not even get the deal done. Who can I get for Schwindel? Glaber Torres. We're bringing him back to the Cubs. Schwindel for Glaber Torres. Um, okay, that works. Um, I'm going to take him down, bring him up a little bit, flip those two. And that should do it, I, I think. Yeah, that's the squad. Everything's looking pretty solid. Daniel Lowe. We got Brennan Davis down here. And I guess... Where is he? Where is he? Oh, this is no DH, so it doesn't matter. But here, Glaber hits lefties really well, so let's go like that. Rizzo hits lefties pretty well, too, but maybe like this. And we leave it like that. Yeah, that's the team. I, I like that. I like that a lot. Maybe take him out versus righties. And who hits righties well? Nobody. Um, I also think I have a spot available to call somebody up. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it like that. That's the move. That's our that's our uh, trade deadline. All right, we won 101 games. This is absolutely insane. I did not expect us to be this good. It's incredible. So yeah, there we are. Uh, standings wise, 19 games above everybody else. That is wild. Who would have thought that this team would be this good? I did not. No chance league leaders marcus stroman trevor may kyle hendricks all killing it and whoo talk about a killer team jeez this is some real business all right awards what do we have freddie freeman mvp jared walsh mvp otani cy young along with walker bueller bryce harper and bregman are your batting title winners class a and graveman relievers of the year buddy kennedy and Adley Rutschman are your rookies of the year. Brendan Davis was in the mix a little bit, a little bit. So let me let me see what we got here. Killian needs to be sent down, which means eh, who got sent down. I think our pitching staff's the same. I think they just called an extra arm up, which I, I don't hate. I don't hate. So yeah, let's just take a look. Justin Steele continues to do really well in this long relief spot. Killian was really good too. I think he's going to be a solid arm for us. Rowan Wick struggled once again. But um, that's not too bad. Not too bad. Givens was good. Daniel Norris was good. Lopez was fantastic. Cody Hoyer, outstanding. And Trevor May, again, really, really solid. And you took a look at her starter. Stroman was unbelievable. Kyle Hendricks was great. John Means, Mills, and Alzali as a five is not too bad. This pitching staff is carrying this team 100%. Okay, so Hermosillo was sent down. I see why. As well as Ildemaro Vargas. He was also sent down. I can see why. They decided to call up Morel and Canario instead. And yeah. So Glaber Torres is back with the team. He was pretty bad. Uh, Morel, Gomes, Canario. Bench, pretty bad. Pretty bad. Uh, Rizzo was okay. He was okay. Uh, Suzuki was still really good. Gotta love it. Nathaniel Lowe, really solid. Patrick Wisdom, great year. I will 100% take a numbers like that. Wilson Contreras definitely took a step back. Wow. That's not good. Oh, he's regressing. Fantastic. Uh, Velasquez is okay. He's still young. He's still developing. We'll figure it out. Brennan Davis potential went down, which is not what you want to see. Uh, not what you want to see at all. Nick Madrigal. Huge season. Wow. Okay. Horner. Meh. And then back to Rizzo. So, I, 
honestly, we just got to hop into it and see how the postseason goes. Season two, what are we going to do? We are, boom, eliminated. You know what? That's okay. That's all right. It's a learning curve. The Dodgers are going to beat the Blue Jays, which would be an electric World Series, by the way, especially if it was this year, like real life this year. Scherzer and Miggy retire. All right, there we are. And then now looking at exclusive negotiations, I'm going to pick up this option for Daniel Norris. Boltonavich was a player I signed. Um, I guess I could pick it, pick it up as a like a fringe guy to have. Um, Drew Smiley, how much does he want for like another year? It's not too bad to have guys in the farm system. Michael Givens is going down, so I'm gonna let him walk. Um, Reynaldo Lopez looks really good, so I'm gonna do like a, a three-year deal, bump it up to 10 mil, make him a bullpen guy. Not too bad. Jan Gomes, I'm gonna let walk. Rizzo, I'm gonna let walk. Trevor May. I think I can get one more year out of him. I think I can. I think I can. Um, 5.5, perfect. And then Kyle Hendricks. Maybe like a one more, one more year deal situation. Give him nine mil. Hope he takes it. And we should have a bunch of money to play with. So let's get into the offseason. All right, so free agency, I've got two big names in mind. First one, Shohei Otani. I want him in the team. I want to see how good he is in franchise. He looks unbelievable. I want him in the squad. Next up, we're also going to go for Jesse Winker. Yep, that's the move. Those are the two moves. It actually works out perfectly. It gives me a lefty DH and also gives me another really, really good pitcher. So boom, solid. Because what I'm thinking is I'm going to move one of these two guys into this spot. And then that should really give us a strong bullpen. And then that'll also give us a really good uh, real, uh, starter. Because we're going to get Shohei Otani. So the team's looking good. And we still have a little bit of money to play with. Around 40 mil even after those two contracts. So with that in mind, I could probably try to boost this team up a little bit more. Where? Maybe I, I, I kind of like what we have going on here. So I'm going to try to get a couple fringe guys. I'm going to also check to see what we got going on here. Um, I could use a backup catcher. Okay. Okay. That's, I guess we could just call up John Hicks, huh? He looks like a decent little backup catcher. Uh, could use a, a backup first baseman. We have James uh, Triantos. I'm going to call him up. He looks good. 80 overall already. Willie Campos is right around the corner from being ready. Same thing with Ed Howard. So maybe... What we could do is, ooh, hold on. So Magical leads off. Suzuki, Low, Wisdom, Contreras. Then this would be probably, it'll probably actually be like this with Winker here at the DH spot. And then that'll finish off the team. We could potentially go and get another outfielder. Hmm. We've got some young guys, but I'm thinking this is probably going to be the last year, the rebuild, because the franchise series that I'm going to do is with the Cubs. And so I'd rather spend a longer time on a franchise series than this rebuild. And then the future rebuilds will be really good with, um, or will, will be longer, probably five years for the rest of the rebuilds that I do. So maybe, I, mean, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see how these two players go. And then we'll, we'll kind of decide what we do from here. Shohei took the Angels offer. He went back to the Angels, which is a big disappointment because now I need a pitcher. <laughs> um, Chialito is an interesting one. Julio Urias. Do I need a lefty? No, I have Steel and I have Alzali. So I could use a righty. Giolito is an interesting one. I'm intrigued. Let's go. Let's go Giolito. We'll give him. It sucks that we missed out on Otani, but I, I definitely expect us to be able to get him in a future rebuild. And I think, did we get Giolito? We haven't yet. Oh, uh, come on. Come on. Come on. The White Sox have a trade offer. Wit and Eloy for Wilson. I'm going to pass. I need to know if I got Giolito or not. Did I get Giolito? I don't care about the Rule 5 draft. I'll go to it. Did I lose anybody? Doesn't look like it. Uh, I don't know if I can even draft anybody who's available. They also did nerf the rule five draft, which it actually looks pretty decent. Yeah, it's good to see. It's good to see. I am not going to draft him. Oh, did they pick somebody for me? No, they did not. Good. Perfect. Love to see it. So now did we get Giolito? He still hasn't signed. Come on. We're the best offer there. Take it, man. Take it, take it, take it. Um, Devers is also available. Ooh, Devers is available. Does he fit our lineup? Kind of does, right? Because, like, we could go 
Winker. And then we could go Devers at the DH spot. And then Velasquez back up. I'm, let's full send it. Uh, do we have the money to do it? I think we do. Boom. Yeah, we fit it. All right. We're, we're going full send on the Cubs. We're doing what the Ricketts would never do. And that is spend money. Guardians want to send me Rosario. And no, I don't want to trade Wilson Contreras. Stop. Did we get our guys? We did. This team stacked. I'll see you guys for the final season. Said kind of a last minute decision to make it this thing, uh, make it this way, the three seasons. But um, like I said, future rebuilds, I'll do five. But because I'm doing the Cubs for a franchise series, um, I felt like let's let's do three because I plan on starting the franchise series tomorrow. So that way I don't have like two, like, y y you know what I mean? I have like a rebuild, a full long rebuild, and then like I start a franchise series. So let's do this final season. We went big. Everything's looking crazy good, by the way. Um, depth chart, like if we were to look at it for the future, you can see players are still like super, super good. Like the team's developing. I actually think we've done pretty well and stayed within budget with this team. Madrigal, Suzuki, Devers, Wisdom, Winker, Contreras, uh, Nate Lowe, Horner, and Davis. I almost said Lau. That's why I paused for a second. We brought in Glaber, Hicks, Triantos, Velasquez. This team's good. This team's really good. Pitching, we've got Killian and Mills. We've got Giolito, Stroman, Means, Alzali, Steele. The bullpen, I signed Joe Jimenez. He was sitting there available. I was like, why not? Let's do it. And there we are. That is the team. It is looking stacked. And let's get into the final season. If we're looking at the budget going forward, um, Stroman becomes a free agent, which helps us out because that will give us a little bit more money to play with. Glaber, Trevor May, John uh, Means, Joe Jimenez, Players are starting to become free agents, so we'd have some money to play with, but I feel like we've built a pretty good core here. I like the team a lot, and we're currently ranked sixth. I think this team's gonna win the World Series. Let's finish off the season, uh, this, this uh, rebuild, that's what it's called. All right, so the season's over 109 and 53. We progressively got better throughout this entire rebuild, and I feel like this is the year where we really made the team like crazy good. I feel like the first two seasons, we just got super lucky. Like I'm gonna be honest, I, I don't understand how the team did as well as it did. So, okay, uh, league leaders, Giolito was great, as you can see, and then offensively, Nico Horner had the most triples, and Seiya Suzuki had the best average in the NL. So there will be one thing that I will say about franchises: I would turn down the trade slider, maybe one or two notches. Um, I'm noticing that there there are a lot of trades, a lot of trades, probably about. 30 to 40 a season, which is a lot, a lot. Uh, I feel like last year was 27 in real life. There was 27 trades and that was considered quite a few trades. So I feel like if you really want to kind of tone down the trades just a little bit, maybe take it down one notch or two notches. Um, but I am noticing there, the trades, I feel like they're, they're okay. I'm, I am noticing there are still some that are just mind blowing, but for the most part, they're they're okay. Um, so there's that. As you can see, the awards that we're winning as well. Bogarts with the Phillies uh, winning MVP. You've got your Don. This is an interesting group. Bogarts, Meadows, and Solaire. Okay. All right. Your Don, Bregman, and Judge. And then Sion goes to Giolito and Luis Garcia. Mike Trout and Suzuki are your batting title winners. Hendricks. And Stashik are the relievers of the year. And then Jose Pena and KJ Harrison are the rookies of the year. All right. Okay, so let's see what changed pitching-wise. Nothing. We've got the same squad. All right. Killian, how did you do? Um, Let's see. Uh, he was okay. He was all right. He wasn't anything special. Alec Mills was fantastic here. Uh, Rowan Wick only pitched four innings, but man, was he pretty solid. Uh, Norris. Oh, and Menez was good. No, Oh, man, look at this bullpen. The bullpen. That's what it was. The bullpen was unbelievable for every season we had. Stroman, solid again. Giolito was great. Means was good. Alzali and then Steele. I mean, the pitching. Pitching definitely carried this rebuild. Unbelievable throughout the entire thing. You look at our bench. Glaber was pretty good off the bench. Just what you'd like. Backup catcher. Triantos was okay. 
and so was Nelson Velasquez. So, all right, whatever. Uh, Nick Madrigal, just a leadoff guy. He gets on base for you. No power. I like it. Seiya Suzuki was unbelievable. Devers was unbelievable. Holy cow, 36 home runs. Patrick Wisdom definitely took a step back. Probably his peak was last year, but you know what? Still pretty happy with it. Winker was great with 35 home runs, really good on base percentage and OPS. You've got Contreras who took a step forward with 34 home runs. Ooh. Uh, low was okay. Nothing too crazy. And then Horner was probably his career best season. And then Brendan Davis is still improving very, very slowly. But yeah, I mean, this team's nutty. If we don't win a World Series this year, I don't know if we ever will. Let's see. The Dodgers, I mean, this is a, this is a tough matchup. This is a tough matchup. And we advance to take on the Braves. Stroman day one, Giolito means, and then steal. Here we go. Here we go. Stroman again. Tough, tough outing for him. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. Team, what are we doing here? We're eliminated by the Braves. Let's go take a look at the Braves lineup. See what see what they're working with. Why are they so stacked? Albies, Benatendi, Acuna, right? Oh wow, that's a team. That is a squad indeed. They got Dansby on the bench. Ooh. Okay. I can see why. I can see why we went down. This is this is definitely a good team. 100. percent And uh, let's let's finish off the season. It's going to be the Braves versus the Guardians. And it is going to be the Braves who win the World Series. We'll take a look at the Guardians lineup really, really quickly. Where are they? There they are. Straw, Arozarena, J Ram, Fran Mill, Naylor, Dustin Harris. Okay. Oh, I mean, it's an interesting team. Interesting team indeed. And where is Cleveland? There they are. Pitching looks kind of the same. They do have Jaden Hill, who's a Rocky, actually. So they must have made a trade there. But interesting. All right. There we are. Our depth chart would look like this going forward. I mean, this team's kind of kind of insane. Like, I really like the team that we put together here. Um, Willie Compost is a guy that unfortunately we couldn't use him, but man, I bet you he was gonna be he was gonna be really good. Um, who, who we had another prospect that looked kind of insane. And I don't remember what his name was. <laughs> so I guess was he really that insane? Uh, Guillen was the pitcher that we picked up. He's probably going to be really, really good. I think I think we did a, uh, something really cool here. We made a really good team. Unfortunately, we didn't win multiple World Series, but we did win win. Uh, did win one in the first year with probably the worst team out of the whole group, which is insane. So there it is. I'm going to end it there. I like this team. This was a fun team to do. Um, it was a lot of fun, especially as a Cubs fan. We, we definitely changed up the team, but we did keep Madrigal, Suzuki, Wisdom. So Madrigal, Suzuki, Wisdom, Contreras, Horner, Brennan Davis came up. We brought in Triantos, Velasquez. Pitching-wise, we had Steele, Alzali, Stroman, Hendricks for a majority of it. Yeah, I mean, we, 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 we kept the core and we built around it. Just what you'd want to do in a franchise. So there it is. That's the Cubs rebuild, the first rebuild of MLB The Show 22. I hope you did enjoy it. We, we did kind of have a crazy ride of World Series Season 1. And then we kind of just got really crazy with a 109 win season. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoyed the content. And of course, get in the comment section. Let me know what team you want to see for the next video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Did you enjoy today's video? If you did, I've got another one for you right here. Boom. Right there. Check it out. It's going to be great. Recommend this one.